so today I'm gonna show you guys how I shoot my Instagram photos and if I can find an app then I will show you how I edit my Instagram photos as you can see my Instagram account books food um, and it has a clean white theme so let's get on to it okay so I shoot on top of my bunk bed and this bed is not really a sleeping bed, it's more of a day bed for me. Anyways. Okay, let me get it up. Okay, so that's where we that's where we were standing earlier. I have a selfie stick um tied to my bed post, to the bed post, if it would focus. And here I have this is a one half illustration board and below I have a one fourth illustration board to give a white background and sometimes I would use clothing items that are white or a cloth or a towel so it could give more texture but I kinda like it when it's clean like this and as you might have seen my photos I usually incorporate this fake daisy for an example I just took a photo of my Game of Thrones book and I have this I drew this myself and I put it on a frame because I liked it and I just put it here and then to add more to add more style to it I add a fake flower right over there okay so right here I have books that I'm bringing to college I have like still have two or three below um, I didn't bring it up here but um, I'm gonna shoot the next photo. Okay, so it's important to switch things up because. Okay, so I'm gonna do a voiceover by this part and I'm gonna speed this up a bit because it got really messy. So, at first I planned to do just one book and I decided to put all three of the books since they're all green and I'm trying to make the lightning leaf stand and make sure it's not parallel to the frame so it would have like an effortless look I don't know and I'm going to pluck some daisies from the bouquet to make it to make it look more incorporated in the photo and not just thrown in there just to add pizzazz and I'm going to flip this video because I'm gonna take photos while taking the video I'm gonna no I'm gonna take photos while recording a video so this will be fun so I'm an Android user and I don't use an iPhone, that's why I don't have a square preset and um, yeah, this is my way of seeing where the crop will go and all of those fun stuff and I'm already taking pictures by now and I'm focusing on the screen, tapping to focus to make sure that your photos are in focus, so yeah. The other kind of photos that I usually do are over the top photos and this is where you get an aerial view, bird's eye view, I don't know what view do you call this, I'm not really sure. But yeah, make sure that you can't see your shadow in the photo because that will be really terrible. Um, yeah, make sure that your shadow and your camera shadow and your hand shadow is not seen in the photo and you'll be good to go and as you may have noticed that I have three lights in my room that's why some of my photos have multiple shadows okay so I couldn't find any app to record my screen so we're gonna go with screenshots and I'm opening my VSCO cam, VSCO cam, however you want to say it and I'm gonna this is the first thing that you'll see and basically I just copy the effects but for the sake of the video I'm gonna go open a picture from the camera roll take a picture that we took earlier and it's importing and then I'm opening the picture and this is like the make or break um, I crop it and see if it crops well if it looks good but if if it looks good then I'll continue to edit it but if it doesn't I delete it I take another photo if you don't like the photo, delete it, take another photo. You can use the default filter if you don't have the S3, which is what I use, which is a paid filter, thanks to Squishy Tutorials. And look at it, it's bright, it's contrasted but not saturated, and we're gonna do the adjustments, and this might change depending on the lighting and stuff. 
but usually the exposure is on plus one the contrast is plus two and the temperature is a negative two just so the white won't be in will be in the same temperature and next i'm gonna open pixlr and i'm going to open adjustments next we're gonna open brightness we're gonna color the white parts so you're gonna take your brush make it bigger or smaller however you like it and you're gonna rub the white parts to make it really bright but it's not bright into your face bright but it's really good actually it makes it look like you have proper lighting even if you don't have it sometimes so yeah you're gonna raise the vibrance as well because i like the colors to pop we con the contrast to the white and next i'm just gonna type in my username which is at queen malo and i use a simple font i don't like those print other fonts i use a simple font and i lower the opacity so it will blend well with the picture and yeah that's basically it so that's basically it thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video and subscribe for more videos every friday and check out my previous video if you want to look at them i do photoshop videos pc personalization vlogs sims 4 videos i i do them all anyways bye guys